What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Baltimore Ravens versus Cincinnati Bengals. Week 5 NFL matchup going down Sunday, October 9th, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, gotta let you guys know, PickDogs.com. We're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed. And also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer, the link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click the join button for more information on our YouTube VIP and premium passes. A great way to get yourself some premium content for an awesome price. Those VIP and premium passes will ensure that every single day you're getting plays from myself, Mitch, and Rod. It's one of the best values going in sports handicapping today. So definitely make sure it's something that you check out, take advantage of, and keep in your back pocket. But let's get to this one between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals and AFC North showdown on Sunday Night Football. As you've got the Baltimore Ravens coming into this one 2-2 two two on the year, alternating wins and losses in each of their first four games of the season after a 23-20 defeat at the hands of the Buffalo Bills last time out. Game where Baltimore led handily 20-3 and, uh, well, you can do some math. Buffalo scoring 20 unanswered points to get the victory in that game. Baltimore escaping with a push against the spread, but... Still t- taking the loss now and in a game that you could argue they definitely should have won. But uh, on the other side, you got the Cincinnati Bengals, who've started to find themselves after back-to-back victories, scoring 27 points in each after a 27-15 win over the Miami Dolphins last time out. Game that you know the Bengals took care of business. Part of that scoreline, I think, had to do with the fact that Tua Tagovailoa got knocked out of the game fairly early in that one. But uh, still, can't fault the Bengals for you know taking advantage of the situation and. Really putting forth a a victory in a must-win game for the defending AFC champions. Now, you know, I think we're starting to see the Bengals start to start to find themselves offensively, like I had mentioned, as you know, you know, back to back weeks where you know that you've seen the the passing numbers sort of improve through for 261 yards uh two weeks ago against the Jets and the Miami Dolphins. Well, they gave up 304 passing yards to the Bengals, the most passing yards the Bengals had put out in a game so far this season. And now they get to take on a uh, Ravens defense that, yes, is still fearsome. It's got a, they've got a great defensive core in Baltimore. The problem is, though, as you look at some of the recent results, gave up 42 in that Miami uh, game where Miami rallied from three touchdowns back. Apparently this whole blown lead thing is nothing new for Baltimore. It's happened twice in their last three games. Gave up 42 to Miami in that one. Gave up 26 points to a lackluster Patriots offense in that win. And then obviously we mentioned the 20 unanswered points for the uh, the Bills last week. And I think this is a spot where the, the Bengals could have some success offensively. You know, Joe Burrow, he's starting to really come into his own as the franchise leader for the Cincinnati Bengals on the offensive side of the ball. And, you know, you look head-to-head, this was a game that Cincinnati, and a, sort of a, a matchup, excuse me, that Cincinnati won handily, taking both meetings last season, scoring 41 points in each game. And yeah, Lamar Jackson back in the fold, you know, as he was in in that second meeting last year, but he can't play on both sides of the football. And I think that Cincinnati's offense is good enough to give the Baltimore defense some fits. I expect Baltimore to have some success of their own, but I'm not laying any sort of points with the Baltimore Ravens who right now are having just hard times holding on to a lead. If you can, if if the, uh, the Ravens end up taking a lead, don't be afraid to sprinkle a little bit on the Bengals' money line or, or, or with points, what have you, because another blown lead would not surprise me for the Ravens here. The Cincinnati Bengals have had success in this matchup, like I mentioned, back-to-back wins in this one. And in their last seven games against the division, the Bengals 5-2 and two against the spread, 6-1 and one against the spread in their last seven road games, 10-2 and two against the spread in their last 12 games overall. I think all the trends point to Cincinnati in this one, and when you just look at recent form and how these two teams are playing coming into these into this game, I kind of got to go with trends here. I'm going to take Cincinnati plus the three and a half. I think this is a field goal game if the Bengals don't win it outright. So give me Cincinnati plus the points, and it's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets for myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out Pick Dogs Premium and use this promo code 15 off 15 off all one word, all lowercase, for 15% off your purchase at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, make sure you check out our free betting tools, some of the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.